Well, good afternoon, Christ Community Church. Uh, Pastor McConnell here. Today is day 10 of our 40 day uh, prayer and fasting journey that we have been on. So glad that you are either joining me live or or uh, joining us uh, later on uh, at your convenience. Thank you for you know just linking arms, participating uh, with us. So as I mentioned, day 10, um, we are talking today about raising godly children. And before you know you you, you kind of eliminate yourself because maybe you're not a parent, um, I want to say that all of us have an opportunity to influence others. So we may be a parent, that's for sure. We may be a grandparent. We may be an aunt, an uncle, a cousin, a brother, a sister, um, a friend. We have the opportunity to influence this next uh, generation at one level or the other. So I want to uh, just share these words. And so for t today, for our devotional uh, passage, we're reading from Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. It should be a, a familiar familiar passage it says this train up a child in the way he should go even when he is old he will not depart from it I always want to point out these two words these two words kind of stuck out to me as I was reading this uh, the first word is the word train and I just went to uh, dictionary.com and I looked up that word and just to get a get a set a fuller sense of what that word means and when we think about train we think about develop uh, forming habits, thoughts, behavior, um, making proficient by instruction and practice. All of that is in the word train. And what that speaks to me about is, one, it's intentional. Like, you don't develop or form habits, thoughts, and behavior or become proficient in anything j just kind of accidentally. You do that with intentionality. So the encouragement of the scripture is that, hey, if we're going to raise godly children, if we're going to influence this next generation in a godly way, it's going to be with intentionality. It's also going to be with purpose, that we are purposing to see that happen. So as we think, this word train, the other word that comes to my mind is, it says, train up a child in the way. And you know what that made me think of was uh, John chapter 14, verse 6, which, where, where Jesus says unequivocally, he says, I am the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And ultimately, you know, whatever we're, we're doing, whatever we're doing, like in life in general, but specifically here in terms of raising, influencing, shaping, developing this next generation, whatever it is we're, we're doing, ultimately it is to connect them to Jesus. So, you know, what, whatever we do, we just don't want to lose sight of the reality that we, there is a person, his name is Jesus, who wants to be in relationship with every single person. As, as someone has said, I, I'm not sure who it is, someone has said that God does not have any grandchildren. He only has children. So what God's desire is, is to connect with each person, including these little ones or these older little ones, as, as it may be, um, connect with them in such a way that they come into relationship with him. That's the ultimate purpose. So we're saying, yes, we want to develop, we want to form habits and thoughts and behaviors and, and make proficient um, by instruction and practice. That's what train means. Why? To what, towards what end? Towards the end that these ones, these children come to know and to be connected with Jesus the way the truth, and the life. That's what we want to pray into, what we want to believe into, see that God does that in our families, in our communities, in our state, in our country, in our globe. Would you pray with me right now as we just join faith together to see that happen? And, and I encourage you if, you, if you are, if you're saying, all right, sign me up for that. Maybe I'm a parent, maybe I'm a grandparent, maybe I'm an aunt, an uncle, uh, you know, a, a friend, a brother, a sister, sign me up, sign me up. Let's, let's, let's you and I link arms together 
of faith and commitment to see that happen. So let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. We just we sense the calling, the commissioning into seeing uh, with intentionality, with purpose, um, the children that you've put into our lives by whatever relationship they may be there. God, that you've that you've given us a calling and a commissioning to train them with intentionality and purpose. Um, with with to train along the lines of thoughts, of thinking, of behavior, of attitudes, etc. God, you you've called us to see that happen towards the end, to the end that they would come to know and to be in a vital and life giving relationship with Jesus Christ. And so, Father, we're just right now just thinking about specific names, specific sons, daughters, cousins, whatever it may be God we're just thinking about their faces we see them God we present them before you God and we say oh God would you speak and 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 um, and pour into their lives in such a way that they come to know uh, Jesus Christ and the promise of Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6 that even as they grow older they will not depart from the way and so God we're praying for a real just rootedness in Jesus Christ. We're we're praying for the development of spiritual character and spiritual backbone and faith and um, just a a relationship that is that is rooted in you Jesus that produces fruit and so we call forth the fruit of the spirit god and and the 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 charisma of the spirit the the spiritual gifts that you want to express through our children god thank you lord for the opportunity right now to partner with you that's our great hope god you you are the life transformer you are the one that brings revelation and understanding and so we pray that for our children that they would we would be raising a godly generation that is coming right behind us god to influence the world to bring to be light bearers to be gospel um uh people that that bring the gospel of the kingdom to the world god and so we offer that as our prayer and we we just join together in faith in jesus name amen Hey, thanks for joining us. Uh, we're just going to continue to just contend with God. Here's what, here's what, you know, I'm just under conviction to say that, you know, God over and over in the scripture says to us, hey, people of God, if you seek me, I will be found. And that's all we're doing right now. That's what we're doing over these 40 days. And so we are exactly where God wants us to be. Take that as your encouragement today as you uh, step into the various things that God has for you. And as we step into this uh, time of uh, prayer and fasting over these next 40 days, just, uh, just sense and know the pleasure of God in it. He is pleased. He His, his heart is is. Um, resonating with our seeking of him. And he says, if we seek him, he will be found. All right. Hey, God bless you. Thanks so much for joining us. We will see you tomorrow at noon. Blessings.